This podcast is intended for adults 18 years and older. It contains explicit language and sexual situations. All thoughts and opinions expressed are of our own and not of those of any specific group, employer, or individual, and is not intended to take as professional advice. Welcome to the Foreplay Podcast. Join the journey, experiences, and sexual adventures of two high school sweethearts navigating their way through the swinging lifestyle as millennials. Come along for the ride. Let's play. Hey everyone, welcome back to the Foreplay Podcast. This is Bella. This is Jace. And today's story is super fun. We are going to talk about the first time we ever had an orgy or were a part of an orgy. Mm-hmm. <laughs> our first one? Yeah, this was our first orgy. Before we get started, uh, we are both interested to know, you guys can send us an email at foreplaypodcast at gmail.com. How many people makes up an orgy? Or you can leave us a voicemail. It'll be in the episode show notes, our phone yes. number. We, you can pause this podcast right now. Yeah. We're waiting for you to send the email. Okay, are you sending it? Good. Okay, now we can tell you what our answers are yeah. <laughs> so that you're not influenced. So if you haven't sent the email yet, don't continue because we're about to give you the answer, okay? So, well, I always said I thought it was six. I always thought five. Five or more makes an orgy. But after doing some research and looking into it, I think a vast majority of people agree with you that once you hit five, it is not a fivesome, to my surprise. It is an orgy. I thought you had to have six people for it to be an orgy. That's why I thought the rule was. I just think because most people don't say five some. Like whenever you, if you're talking about your experience, would you say if there was five people? Oh yeah, I had a five some. I, I I would have yes. You would have said that. Oh, <laughs> but you know I would have said I had a six some. I would say it was an orgy. I, up to debate, I guess, but. I was, this is kind of funny and beside the point, but we met someone one time and then we asked this couple the same question and then we said, on the count of three, you guys have to say it. And then he said, I think five or more. Yeah. And she said 10, yeah. 10 or more. And we are like, what do you call nine and nine some? Like, <laughs> what, what are you doing? That's a lot. She was like, I just got nervous. I didn't know. <laughs> so we were at Colette and we saw our friends. And this Carter. was Halloween, you say that? Oh, this was Halloween. Mm-hmm. I completely forgot. Yes, this was Halloween. And we saw our friends Carter and Selena who were in a previous podcast. Um, I'm going to have to get better at knowing the podcast episodes <laughs> they're in. But um, we have been friends with Selena and Carter for a while. We had full swap with them before and they're super fun. And he was uh a like greek a, god yeah, like I think. A, yeah 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 and the boys built like a greek god he really is he looks photoshopped like i don't know how he he has like eight abs jeez <laughs> and i think that she was probably a goddess i assume yeah. Right? yeah she's probably a greek goddess and also I, a goddess body yes <laughs> and i was sailor moon <laughs> Which is from uh, an anime, if you guys are unfamiliar with anime stuff. But I didn't wear a yellow wig or anything. I just had my normal hair. But I had it in pigtails with the little meatball things on the head. It was cute. And then you were... I was Conor McGregor. Yeah. Oh, we'll have to post pictures. We'll post pictures on our episode webpage. Yeah, but I'm going to do my impression right now. (coughs) Lighty Padre is absolutely fucking no one. (laughs) Good. Thank you. Did you do that that night? I feel like your impersonation wasn't that good that night. I don't know, but, but you looked just like I him, did because I had the red sick. hair and the beard. One I, of my favorite costumes. Yes, it was one of my favorite costumes I've ever. He done. he bought a or what Irish he bought, yeah. flag. We yeah. actually, I well we. We won six free months to Colette because of that costume. I know. It was a so, really good costume. And you can get this tattoo printer paper, which is really cool. And you didn't just use an inkjet printer and... It's a temporary tattoo. It is so neat. But yeah, anyway. I had a full on like notorious McGregor on my stomach and that ape on my chest. Yes, and, like, that was and all over your arms. It was awesome. It was really good. It was probably my favorite costume I've ever done. And we were hanging out with them and they had some friends and we will name them. Ooh, we're gonna so we're doing now we're doing the famous people's names. Um what about Clark and Lois Kent. Lane? Clark uh, and <laughs> Clark and Lois. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Lewis and Clark. Lewis and Clark. <laughs> <laughs> no. Let's go Lois and Clark. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Okay. okay so, so Lois like and Clark. And her. Lois. Like. Lois like, yeah. <laughs> So they introduce us to their friends, and they actually look very similar to each other. They're both uh, both couples, I mean. Super tan. Oh, she's actually really tiny, Lois. I think she's smaller than 
like shorter than me. I bet she's me. like five foot. Yeah. She's really short. Because <laughs> I'm really short and I think that I'm taller than her. So we were all hanging out. What and were they being? I don't know. I can't remember what. I think she was a sailor. Were they sailors? Maybe they were sailors. I don't remember for sure. I feel like they were. Why is that coming to my head? It could be, but I don't remember for sure. I will say nobody really knew who I was. One of the workers knew who oh, I so was. Oh, so you were also a sailor. I was a sailor. Sailor Moon. Sailor Moon. <laughs> yeah. I thought they might have been sailors. We're going to go with they were sailors. I think that they were. Okay. Um, but they both look similar. The both couples look similar. Really good looking. Super tan, dark hair. And. Um, yeah, you got the dark hair and tan skin. Those are me. Oh, I also hair. have. Mr. Yeah. Pale with red hair. Like. <laughs> Oh, I don't even know what to say to that. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing to say. <laughs> no, you were so good looking. See, I feel she was taking this all apart. That sounds kind of funny. Was it? Yeah, we should leave it in. Okay. <laughs> um, so, yeah, we, we ended up meeting their friends, and we all kind of hit it off really well. We were all hanging out. I can't remember anything that happened at the club there. No, I, I don't think really we were, much yeah, happened. Yeah. I think we just all hung out. We were just all talking, all hanging out, and then... I think that Carter was something along the lines of, hey, we have a hotel. Should we all get out of here? And we were like, okay, like that sounds fun. I, I never... Selena talked to me too, and she was like, hey, do you want to have an orgy with this couple? I think and she us, did say yeah, that. Yeah, I remember yeah. she told me, or somebody told me that, and I was like, and I think I went over to you, and we talked about it, and we were like, yeah. Yeah. And <laughs> so down. they... Um, they had a car and we had Ubered there. Yep. So we ended up riding with them back to the hotel and then Lois and Clark. <laughs> <laughs> it's just funny to say. Uh, they drove too. So we all ended up meeting at the hotel. And then I remember not as much as I would like to. I do remember that me and you started together. Uh-huh. So everyone started with their own couple or with their own significant other. And so I remember you going down on me for a while. I think that, you know, the other couple was doing their thing. The other couple was doing their thing. And this this place had two beds. Yeah. So we can paint a picture here. There was a bed on the right and on the left. <laughs> they were like two queen beds. Like and a there was a TV on the other like... side in between. Um, so, yeah, they, they – um, I think that – did we end up having sex too before we swapped? I don't remember. I just know that – I started fucking Carter, and I started riding him, and that's the first thing I remember. Okay, well, I remember the in the hotel room because I know. That, is that what you did first? Because I, I st- don't okay, remember. okay, then maybe that's what maybe that is what happened. So you or you stopped doing stuff with me, and then you started doing stuff with Carter, and then um, Selena came over to me. Okay, yeah, and she started going down on me. Oh, you know, I think I probably sucked his dick first and yeah. then got on top of him. Um, I remember her going down on me for a little while. And then I think that, yeah, I think, were you over on the left bed though? Doing like the, if you're you, looking at both beds, I was on the left that's bed. That's what I thought. Yes, so I yeah. remember she was going down on me and then you guys had moved over to the left bed. Yeah, okay. And yeah. then Lois and Clark were on the end of the right bed. And I was with Selena, Selena on the same bed, on with, the them. Same bed with them. And so she was going down on me, and then I kind of, like, moved her, and I turned her around and, like, bent her over on the bed. Okay. Because the bed was kind of, like, waist you height. Standing? Yeah. Oh, that's fun. The bed was kind of, like, waist height. Uh-huh. And so, like, I was able to kind of bend her over on the bed. And then I started fucking her doggy for a while. And I think Lois and Clark were still doing their thing together, and then you were over there with... um. Carter. Yes, and Carter gave me my favorite compliment during sex that I've ever gotten. It still stuck with me to this day. He said, you fuck like a porn star. And I was like, oh, I felt like I got a Grammy. (laughs) Because let me tell you, Carter is really good at fucking. (laughs) What are those things called that you get whenever you win? Oh, the AVP? An AVN AVN award? Is that what the porn awards are called? (laughs) That's an exit link. I was like, oh my god, thank you. And I think I just fucked a part of it. The golden dildo. (laughs) I wish I had a golden dildo. That's funny. Oh my gosh, that's hilarious. I want to make people golden dildo awards. We should host a fucking golden dildo award Like in the office, the Dundies? Yes. (laughs) Just dumb awards. 
<laughs> at the end of the year, everyone gets like the best mitigator and like. Yeah. <laughs> Best oral. <laughs> no, that's we can't do that. But you know, like funny one. Best dressed, best costume. Best, just always yeah, yeah, something yeah, yeah, fun. Yeah. Oh, that'd be so fun. We should do that. They're that's called the Golden cool. Dildos. The okay, golden dildos. copyright uh, October 29th, 2020. The Four Play <laughs> Podcast cannot take the Golden Dildo Awards unless that's a thing, and we will not take it. Um, <laughs> so yeah, I remember watching you guys fuck, and it is like. You guys look so good together. Oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> like porn stars. Wow. Uh, and so, yeah, I was fucking her for a little bit. And then I remember I stopped fucking her and she was like, okay, everybody switch. And, this yeah, was, and she's so, like, everybody also switch condoms. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> she and Carter are the best at directing. Yeah. They just know. Is what that what a do. mitigator is, right? Is yes, that, a mitigator. Yeah, that's what yeah, they, would yeah. get, they would get the award. Best couple mitigator. Yes. Mr. Selena and Carter. <laughs> and then he, they have really good ideas for different positions. It's like, how do you know all of these in your head? You just keep them in your head and you just remember. Because I think about them, but I don't remember what to do during play. Like, I, I'm not like, yeah. okay, you go here and you go here and let's try yeah, this he's like He's like a football coach, like, yeah. running a play. <laughs> <laughs> he's like, we're going to hand it off to 28. And then we're gonna... <laughs> That's what they're like. But it's awesome. It yeah, really, really is really. awesome. They are a great team. They really are. They are a great team. They need to be at every party. They do. Every party needs uh-huh. Selena and Carter. They do. The referee shirts on. Yeah. <laughs> directing traffic. <laughs> no pants. Um, so then I remember... It's like getting his cock sucked while he's directing. <laughs> <laughs> With a whistle? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Oh, uh, anyway. So, so we all switch. And yeah. then I go over to Clark. Yes. And then... So then I think that Carter and Selena were together. I think that you switched over. Yeah, I went to Clark and mm-hmm. then you went with Lois. Yeah, and, and I took Lois over to the other bed. Oh, okay. And then Carter and Selena were together where I had just fucked Selena. So they oh, had okay. moved over there. So then you were back in that corner where Carter and Lois had been. Uh, yeah. I remember I, he was fucking me missionary but he was standing off the bed and i was laying on the bed and he was really good fucking too and this was the first time that someone choked me during sex and i was like i like this (laughs) i didn't know i like this but i really do like it and i'm not I, I'm not a germaphobe, but I'm germ aware. I think that's what you say. Yeah, that's germ what, aware. That's what I say. But um, <laughs> <laughs> he was choking me, and then and then he took his fingers and like put them in my mouth so I could suck them. And I was like, "This is hot," but I wish he would have washed his hands before. <laughs> It's like, I don't know if you watched his hands. <laughs> I remember okay, thinking, be in the moment. Be in I, know, the moment. I, was like, I, was, I remember thinking that, but I mean, it was like really hot. I was like, oh, like he's very dominant. So I remember... <laughs> She really wanted to fuck. She has a high sex drive because there's a story about her later, which she was not called Lois later. Oh. Because we filmed a podcast in the future that we had done stuff with them or with her again. So that name's not going to match up. But anyways, yeah. But anyway, she has like the super high sex drive and it's super hot because she always tells you how much she wants to fuck you. Yeah. And so she like pushed me on my back and she rode me reverse cowgirl, which I don't think. No, that's not true. One other person done it before. But that position, okay, this also, email us this with the whole thing about how many people's in an orgy. If you are a male, when someone is riding you reverse, cowgirl, do you get nervous at all? Because I get a little nervous. I get nervous doing I don't ever do it to people. Because sometimes, like, if it comes out, I just don't want it to, like, fall back and, like, slap your... I just slapped my boob. <laughs> I'm like, not worried about that. that. I'm just worried oh. about the way that it bends. Like, if you know what you're doing, it works okay. It doesn't hurt. But if you start to move the wrong way really quickly, at least for, for my dick, it don't bend that way too much. <laughs> so that – she did. She rode me for a while, and it felt great. Like, she's really good at it. But, guys, whenever a girl's like, okay, I'm going to ride you reverse, you start to sweat just a little <laughs> bit because I know I'm like, okay – do you okay. think your penis is going to break or something? Yeah, I'm afraid it's going to, like, come out or, like, bend the wrong way and mm. snap. Yeah, I know. Yeah. It makes my balls hurt to think about it. <laughs> okay. So, guys, answer that question. Mm. Podcast at gmail.com. 
but anyway, so she rode me reverse for a while. And then I remember like moving her and I moved her on her back. I started fucking her missionary, but I wasn't, I wasn't like leaning on her. I was more up on my knees fucking her. Mm -hmm. If that makes sense. And then I was fucking her and then she kind of like stalked me and she took my dick out and then she squirted all over me. Oh. Which that was the first time that that had ever happened before. And I was like, whoa. I was like, that's hot because you don't squirt. I don't squirt. And so I was like, oh, that's hot. And then my next thought was like, I'm a very um, organized and clean person. I was like, oh, these sheets. Uh, (laughs) These poor sheets sheets are wet. (laughs) Um, But I was like, oh, that's hot. And so... Then I think after I did that, she took my condom off and like gave me a blowjob for a while. And I so clearly remember this next part. Do you remember the next part of this? Uh, I think I know where you're going. But I remember during whenever you guys were fucking, she kept saying like, oh, you're so pretty. Like she kept talking about me to uh, her, to Clark. It was like, girl, she's so pretty. She's so sexy. And that was really happy me if I remember her saying that. Yeah. So <gasps> and best also, hype man, I Golden know. Dildo. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. I know it's Lois. I also remember, because I don't think that they were, like, super into me. I think this is why she kept saying that. Because I don't know if they were super into me whenever we first got there because of how I look with my costume on. Because Yeah, because he told me that. Yes. He was like, he was like, I knew you were really pretty. But then once you took your costume off, I didn't realize, like, how beautiful you were. Because you did look like an anime character. Yeah. And which I had isn't these, like, everyone's cir- kink. Yeah. I had these, like, circle hair things on my head. And they were in, like, I had, like, bangs. Like, fake bangs. And and my hair was in pigtails. So when I took everything off and my hair is just, like, long and flowy, like how it usually is, I looked a lot different than my costume. <laughs> But anyways, and you weren't like in a little like cheerleader skirt. You were just like naked, and so like it's kind of a different a different thing. But anyway, so I thought that was funny. This podcast is brought to you by us, Bella and Jace. Have you guys ever been to a party? You're just looking to spice the night up. We have the ultimate adult party game. It's called Four Play the Game. It's an adult icebreaker game that really always just makes for a fun time. If you want more information about it, you can check it out at foreplay.com slash games. If you're newer into the lifestyle and you're wanting to learn more about it, we do have an introduction to swinging course that you can find more information at foreplay.com slash learn. It has all the information that we wish we would have known before we first got into the lifestyle. We also have swinger and lifestyle clothing and you can find that at foreplay.com slash shop. Back to the show. She was sucking your dick and then yeah. I think... I don't remember how it all Selena, got here. I think somebody Probably. said everybody should go suck Jason's dick. Yeah. <laughs> right? I think Probably. it was Selena that said that because she was like, oh, we should all go give or no, maybe it was Carter. I don't know. It Some, was now, Carter. Now, now, normally nowadays it's me says that. Yeah. But someone else was the, was the somebody, wingman for me on yeah, this one. Somebody. And... So I was like, or like, <laughs> yeah, I volunteer. It's true. Yeah, that's like, that's like, that's like Hunger Games. Like I volunteer. <laughs> so I went over back to the right bed and I remember sitting there and I had never had a triple blow job before. I'd had double blow jobs before, but never a triple blow job. <laughs> and I had seen porn. So I was like, oh shit, this is happening. And so I re- remember once again, um, you know, Selena being the, the coach that she is, she was like, Okay, I'm going to suck on his dick, and then you guys eat suck on one ball. That's. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I was like, okay, <laughs> and so then I remember she was kind of like going down on me, and then <laughs> you guys were both sucking on my balls ball. together, and then I think we ended up doing the whole thing where you know, like I took it out of her mouth, and you guys all kind of did everything. Yeah. But it was just a triple blow job, and I was like, oh my god, this just is so hot. <laughs> um. Oh, it wasn't just, it was a <laughs> triple blow job. And so you guys were all going down on me and then you were like, Hey, why don't you guys go start on Carter and I'll finish Jace. Um, <laughs> so I was like, okay. And so they went over and started doing something with Carter or Clark. I don't remember. Cause I was just looking at you at this point. So you just kept going down on me and then, I came in your mouth, uh-huh. and then I think I ran to the bathroom. I think we, I think we both went to the bathroom. Yeah. More like I was like, "Holy shit! Did you see that?" <laughs> like, <laughs> like you no, weren't there. I was a part of it. <laughs> it was uh, sucking in the ball. <laughs> it, <laughs> it was so fun though. And since then, like we've done that a few more times, and that is that's such a fun thing. Like that you've never triple experienced a triple blowjob is so fun. 
Um, but double blowjobs, I think, are one of my favorite things, like, lifestyle-wise. Double guess- ones are easier because it's more focused. Uh, like, you don't have to share as much. Not yeah. in a bad way. It's just you have you don't have to think of, like, okay, where does my head go? Or can I go yeah, this way? And then, uh, yeah, like yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Noggins. I can see that. So we are monk noggins. But, but when you're the guy and you see three of them, because you're usually in the middle – so when there's three, because we've done other ones like where I've had girls on both sides and like I've taken both girls' heads and like pushed them together when you were in the middle. So it's like. So they're like kissing on top of me? No, like kissing on my dick while you're going down. Oh, so that's why like, three is kind of like hot for See, a guy See, it's probably anyway. easier. It, it's easier if you're, you can like do stuff with the three. Yeah. But, you're, like, but whenever around. you're in it, it's kind of hard to like. Where yeah. Because you, you can control. Because like I can take my dick out and put it in somebody else's. Yeah. yeah, yeah, like, yeah person yeah. to person. Can you do triple cunnilingus? Does that work? <laughs> is that a thing? That'd be hard. That would be me. hard. I would think you had to be like be able to do the splits. <laughs> yeah, you gotta go do the splits. All right, if we can ever find a girl that can do the splits, and we got you, me, and another girl, we gotta go for it. <laughs> Hopefully, one day we'll update you in a podcast about a triple kind of lingus. <laughs> triple kind of um, but yeah, so you made me come, and then I remember I was really tired. I was super tired because it was like four a.m. at that point, and after I come, I usually also get tired. And so I remember when I went. And I sat up like against a wall and I was like, yeah, okay, you were, like, I'm just on gonna on the floor. I remember that. Yeah, I was like sitting on the floor and like my back was against the wall. I was like, I'm just gonna rest my eyes for a second. Because I think I went over to give more people head. See, I legitimately fell asleep. Because you after did, yeah. after I came, I was already tired, so it was 4 a.m. And then I came, which made me more tired because when I come, I get tired. And <laughs> I literally like fell asleep sitting on the floor with like my head against a wall. And then you woke me up like when everything was over, which is so sad because I would have loved to watch that. But I guess I was just so tired that I fell asleep. So I apologize to them. I was not trying to be rude. I just accidentally fell asleep because I came. I couldn't help it. I don't remember. So you have to fill me in the rest. I I can't. Oh, usually you're able to fill it in. And then I'm like, oh, yeah, I remember that part and can expand. But I don't remember. I remember you waking me up. I that's all I got after that. I don't remember anyone else coming, but I'm sure they did. I don't remember how Lois came. Oh, wait, no. I don't remember how Clark came. I remember that Selena was also really tired. And I think she was like, I think she fell asleep sleeping too. on the bed. I think she fell asleep on the bed too. <laughs> it was like was 4 a.m. It was so, yeah. t- we were so tired. It was so tiring. <laughs> But and we moved around, fun. so it was so it much was so fun. fun. It was so fun. So that's when we found out that we just love orgies. Uh-huh. It's so fun. It's so um, fun. And then we called an Uber, kissed everybody goodbye, and left. And that is the end of the Halloween orgy. Mm-hmm. Hopefully we can have another I Halloween know. orgy. I agree. It's coming up. I hope this soon. Halloween ends this in an orgy, too. Yeah. <laughs> or two. <laughs> two, <laughs> two separate orgies? I don't know if I got enough energies for that. Yeah, I don't want to fall asleep. You know what's <laughs> well, funny, though? The more people there is, it's still just one orgy. Isn't that interesting? That's true. If you fuck 20 people at an orgy, you fuck it, three people, it's still one orgy. Wait, wait. Oh, are you talking about the amount of people you uh-huh. fuck if there's more than five people in the room? Yeah. Oh, I was talking about, like, different... T- you were talking about having two orgies, but on one day. Uh-huh. But I was like, so if you have an orgy with 10 people and then you have an orgy with another 10 people, that's two orgies. But if you have one orgy with 20 of the same people, that's just one orgy. Oh, both interesting topics. <laughs> <laughs> but honestly, that's kind of a short story. And that's not the longest podcast in the world. But I feel like it deserved its own story because it really was our first orgy. And it was really fun. That was also it was nice to kind of hear about you. Because I remember talking about after it happened and hearing about, oh, I was over here on this bed with her and you were over here. Because we hadn't played that much where we weren't right next to each other, really, Oh, that yeah, often. that was the first time and that so we that, were, like, in the same bed. Yeah, and that so that was kind of, like, another level of more comfort in the lifestyle for us. And so that was really fun to be able to kind of talk about it. It was hard to talk about it later about, oh, well, this is what she was doing to me. Because I don't think she knew that she squirted on me or whatever. So I think that it was nice to talk about. Oh, the I didn't know that. Yeah, yeah. Squir- yeah, I didn't know that. That was hot. And so that's something I enjoyed about this experience too. So I really felt like it deserved its own, its own story. Yeah. But let's end with our weekly obsessions. Um, Bella and Jace's weekly obsessions. We are getting so theme song. Good. We're gonna get the golden dildo her best. <laughs> best <laughs> podcast theme song. Yeah. <laughs> So I will start with my thing because I don't know the song is yet, but for my 
obsession this week for Thing is we got this we, – we've had it for a long time. But we played this card game called Karma, K-A-R-M-A. That's a good one. And it is such a fun game. And we hadn't played it for a few years, and we got to go home and see our family, so we played it with our family. And it's just such a fun game. And so since we got back, we played it, like, every single night this whole week. And so that's my obsession. I mean, literally right now, my podcast mic is sitting on top of the game. <laughs> it really is. It actually I'll just is. take a picture of it. I'll take a picture of it and post it to and Twitter. And you can see what our podcast mic looks like. It's on a lamp. <laughs> <laughs> so um, that's, that's, oh, we also got those lamps this week. Uh, this week. Yeah, those I finally are got some cute. new decorations. But that is my weekly obsession for things. What is your weekly obsession for things? We got a pull-up bar. That you can move it around so you can stick it in the door frame, but then you can also move it so it doesn't have to stay in the door frame and look ugly. But that has been really awesome. I'm really, really trying to work my upper body strength. I have very strong legs, but no upper body strength. So I want to learn how to do a pull up this year. I love that. That's a great one because yeah. it's also nice with doing so much calisthenics stuff. You used to listen to some of our last podcast. It's getting really cold now. Mm-hmm. And so going outside isn't it as fun. So now we're able to attach the rings and have the pull-up bar and everything inside so we can do a full workout inside, which is so nice. I'm so thankful we're able to do that. So I think that's a – and it was normally like $100, and it was on sale on Amazon. No, like, I got a different one. This one uh, just normally is like 25 or something. You got, yeah, I'll link it too if you guys want to yeah, put it in the show notes. It's awesome. It's a really great – and I, I made it. It only took like 15 minutes to put together really easy. Awesome. So now we have the obsession with song. You my go week, first. Yes, my music weekly obsession is by the K-pop girl band Twice. They had a new comeback recently. I love them so much. And their new song, I Can't Stop, is my favorite song right now. And I want to learn the dance. They kind of do a little whoa in there. Whoa. Oh, another weekly obsession is learning the dolphin dance. I finally learned how to do the TikTok dolphin dance. It's like the one where you put your hand, it goes like a thief in the night. I'm good at it now, right? You are. You actually are really good at it. <laughs> Translates into sex. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, It really is kind of the same movement, though. I'm, yeah. I'm doing it. Yeah. Ooh. That's true. I, have you ever had sex with a dancer before? Me? Yeah. No. I would love to have sex with a dancer, like professional dancer, like sometime because they just know how to move their hips. I know. Like I want someone that can like salsa or do no, like some, a hip hop, like, oh, like a yeah. Channing Tatum. I mean, I'm probably gonna Ooh. skip on Channing Tatum for me, but someone that can <laughs> do a version of Channing Tatum. Um, so for my song this week, it's not a new song, but I've been listening to it a lot lately. "Good to Be Alive" by Andy Grammer. That's a good one. It's such a good song. And I have been um, obsessed with listening to that this whole week. So I am going to go with that as my song of the week. And that is the end of today's podcast. If you'd like to support the show, you can leave us a five-star review wherever you're listening to our podcast. All our information will be listed in the show notes below. You can email us at foreplaypodcast at gmail.com. That's the number four, O-U-R, playpodcast at gmail.com with any questions or comments or head to foreplay.com slash ask. We have a digital online game called Foreplay the Game. It's the ultimate adult party game for the sexually inclined and perfect for breaking the ice. You can find more information at foreplay.com slash games. We give away one free game of Foreplay Plus a month to a listener who writes a review, so just screenshot your review and email it to us for a chance to win. We have swinger and lifestyle clothing and accessories at foreplay.com slash shop and courses at foreplay.com slash learn. And we also have a Facebook group called Foreplay Community and would love for you to join at facebook.com slash group slash foreplay community. We're on Twitter at Foreplay Podcast and Instagram at HeyBellaLuna and at HeyJSB. I have an OnlyFans, which you can find at OnlyFans.com slash BellaLunaVIP or my free one at BellaLunaFree. Lastly, we're on Cassidy and SDC at Bella and Jace, and you can get a free 30-day full membership by using our link. Again, all our information will be listed in the show notes below, and we thank you so much for listening to our podcast. See you in the next one. Bye!